all right guys so i'm about to um adjust these jake brakes so i'm going to show you guys how to adjust these jake brakes i already did a video showing you guys how to install them now we're going to adjust them now number three and number six is already um adjust now to to move on from number six and number three we got to rotate the accessory drive pulley to the right cylinder so um uh the accessory drive pulley down here is labeled a b and c and there's a little white marking um on there to line up the a b and c to the correct position now when it's on a it's either uh number one or number six when it's on c it's either three or four when it's on b it's either two or five now i already did c and a now we're gonna uh, rotate it to letter a which is either two or three Uh, we gotta just keep on cranking it until you line up uh, B with the white marking. Now we are right there, so we gotta shake. We're gonna shake the the intake and the uh, exhaust valve. Whichever one is loose, that's the one we're gonna adjust. This one have a little play, and this one have a little play. Now let's go to five and see. All right, so as you can see, only one of these on number five is shaken, right? So number two, this one is shake and this one shake. So this is the one we're gonna adjust because the intake and the um, exhaust is uh, loose. So let's adjust this, this J brake on number two right so to do that you need a feeler gauge which is um, 30 30 um, oops 38 millimeter right 38 millimeter but I don't have a 38 millimeter so what I did I doubled them up I put 14 and 24 together which is our 38 millimeter so now what we want to do, we want to put our feeler gauge between the slave piston down there, right here, and the cross head. And then we're going to adjust our screw until we make contact with the feeler gauge. We just need a slight drag on that feeler gauge down there. That feels a little tight, so we're going to back it off a little bit. And that is perfect right there. So you could leave the feeler gauge in there if you want, or you could take it out and then adjust it. So we're gonna take a 19 millimeter box wrench and um, we're gonna hold that adjusting screw in place with the screwdriver. And then we're gonna lock it down with the box wrench with the nut. After we lock it down with the box wrench, then we're going to take our torque wrench and torque it down to 25 foot pound. So that's not a lot of torque. So it was just a little bit of torque. Just in case you don't have a torque wrench, you could just eyeball it. You don't need a lot of torque on it, right? So we're going to, I already set my, my torque wrench to 25 foot pound. Now I'm just going to torque it down. And that's it. You hear that? So that's how you adjust your J brake on this Cummins M11 engine. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to move on to the next. So the same procedure I did on number two it's the same procedure you're going to do on all of them you got to rotate your accessory drive pulley until you get to the top dead center on each cylinder the way 
you find out if you're on the right cylinder when you get to the marking on the crankshaft down there come back up here and just shake shake your um your intake and your exhaust whichever one of those or loose that's the one you're going to adjust anyway guys like i said again please subscribe to the channel bye bye